If you're looking for a cheap place to get your FIFA 15 coins and look no further, go to ufifa.com and use the code TVM to get yourself a discount. They also sell PSN and Microsoft points and subscriptions quite cheap as well. Link in the description. Cheap, fast and reliable. Go check them out. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome to another episode of the One and Up. So yesterday I made a mistake in the player that I wanted to put into the team. I put in Jose Callahan on the right hand side. I've actually changed that now and I've put in uh, Jacquin instead. So the upgrade, because I didn't actually play with him, I thought it would be okay to just switch him out because I didn't actually use him. So yeah, the upgrade is going to be changed to Jacquin. The reason I've done that, uh, not that he's any better, he's actually worse, but the reason I've done it is because it gives Quadrado slightly more chemistry, but it also links with uh, is it Fernandez? The guy in the centre, um, and they get full chemistry. So I can put whatever back line I want because it was getting very um, dodgy when it comes to um, Serie A uh, defenders and informs. They were a bit weak and they were a bit naff, and I kind of wanted to spice it up and spend a bit more money. So that's what I've done. In the long run, it'll be it'll be. Well, I say it'll be worth it. We'll see. We're passing it around nicely against this guy. Good shot from Fabregas. Good save from uh, Courtois, though. Never really going to beat him from there. Don't know why I tried it. Jacques win gives it inside to Fabregas who's playing very very well has another shot great save from Courtois again uh, we're on the defense this time though unfortunately because Aguero is just absolutely ripping look at that paced right through 350,000 I think he is at the moment he may even be more than that uh, the prices on ultimate team at the moment absolutely ludicrous it's ridiculous the amount of uh, money people are paying for certain cards especially especially legends legends of all tripled quadrupled even in price we've conceded a goal to make it 1-0 Fernandez bursts through manages to miss I somehow I, I hate the fact hate the fact that the change the player button is the same button as lob that needs to be rectified that is that is an issue of epic proportion because every time I click on to a player to try and take the shot he ends up lobbing it and that's how we missed with um, Daniel Sturridge second half though I was a changed man Quadrado comes out and uh, yeah least said about that effort the better but I was a changed man because I had a lot more of the ball I was using it a lot more as well Quadrado bursts through the center manages to hold off his man but does win the foul you know how I feel about free kicks Quadrado steps up Bish, bash, bosh, back of the net, and that is 1-1 one, one, with an hour gone on the on the on the net, I was gonna say, on the clock. There's enough time in the game for another goal. Whether it come from Quadrado, I don't know. Adebayor knocks it to Quadrado. He's in on goal. Surely I won't miss. Bang, goal. There we go. Four minutes later, we're in the lead. And just like that, even if you're 1-0 down, you can turn the game on its head. We're three minutes later. Quadrado is at it again. He is running just from inside his own half, does very well to beat the man there, roulette around another one, what's he going to do, I got lucky there, didn't really do an awful lot, the skill move looked impressive, but it didn't get very far, we've scooped, we've won a free kick, it's not in the best position in the world, I'm probably going to go for a cross, but then I thought, you know what, let's just go for goal, you know I like a free kick, bang, goal, another one, and in the space of 10 minutes, we're now 3-1 up, where we were 1-0 down, so the people who quit after they've conceded in the first 10 minutes, just look at this, bang, goal, 4-1, we were 1-0 down, we're now 4-1 up, we've dominated the game and that is the end of it, 4 upgrades for an on-form Quadrado, and look at that, 59% possession, I'm very proud of it, we're going to put some big names in, and you can see it already, are you excited, I was when I bought him, maybe not so much now because the guy is literally AIDS, Carney is going to give way to the team of the year, David Luiz, and on paper the guy looks so impressive, 84 pace, uh, 90 defending, 87 physical, 78 dribbling and passing, and 74 shot. Like I said, on paper, the guy is so impressive. I'm really, really... I was really chuffed with him and excited to use him. And maybe I'm not so much anymore. I'll explain that in a second. Conco is going to give way to the uh, inform Arrier, the Paris Saint-Germain right back, uh, to give the chemistry to David Luiz. I've not used the standard card this year, so I don't really have any comparison. But 84 uh, pace 80 defending and 84 physical is very nice especially with solid 70 stats on his dribbling and passing the second center back is going to be the first in from Naldo the, the, there wasn't an awful lot of difference between the first and second in from Naldo uh, three uh, defending I think this guy's got 86 yeah and the other one's got 89 so I mean don't get me wrong that's a that's a nice chunk but for nearly well more than double the money I, I decided against it he's actually set to go up in price soon so there's a little trading tip for you just buy the first in form trust me he'll go up in price to about 
about 80k in the next few days. And we've got Rodriguez, the um, the Swiss, on the left-hand side again to give the chemistry to Naldo. The goalkeeper at the moment is obviously still Petr Cech, so that's an issue. Uh, Rodriguez isn't the best left-back in the world, but, I mean, he's he's decent, so he'll do for now. We're going to come up against this team with a Barbo up front. Has anyone heard that Dumbia could be going to Roma? Can you imagine that? You, you're going to come up against teams with a Barbo, Dumbia and Jovino in their team. Like, that's just... And maybe Quadrado on the other side. That's ridiculous. That shouldn't be allowed in, in FIFA. Quadrado dinks the ball through to Fernandez, who lashes one past the post. Fernandez is a player. Uh, a few of you said to me down in the comment section that you, you liked him. And then one or two people said that uh, you didn't like his skills. You didn't feel like uh, he, he warranted five-star skills. And you didn't feel like his dribbling was good enough to sustain five-star skills. Um, I don't really do an awful lot of skills with him. But look at this. He pops up in, in the most random places. He's a cam, or rather just a CM. And he just popped up there uh, right ahead of Quadrado, getting the goal to make it 1-1. He just pops up in some really nice positions. There he is arriving, but we don't use him. Quadrado goes it alone, takes on every single player in the team. Look at that for skill and a good save from the goalkeeper. If that had gone in, wow, 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 that would have been a good goal. Handanovic with the save though. Tevez comes forward, knocks it out to Bia Biani, a player that I've never liked ever. I've never really watched him in real life either. Either I watch a fair bit of Italian football for Empoli. I've got a bit of a, a I don't know what it is, like a second club passion thing for Empoli. I don't, I'm not really sure why, but um. I do watch a lot, a lot of Italian football. I've never really liked Bia Biani. I don't understand why he's been given that much pace. He doesn't even seem that fast to me. But either way, we've conceded a really nice goal there. The second goal was bullshit. It was an error in the defence. And speaking of defence, I've made a big mistake by putting Naldo and David Luiz in there. They are awful together. They both have high attacking work rates, which I knew... Look at that for a goal. There's Fernandez again. I'm telling you, go try him. Go check him out. He's like, what's he, 30, 40k? Go buy him. You will not regret it. Yeah, um, the, I, when I put Naldo... Aldo and, and David Luiz in there, I knew they they had attacking work rates, a high attacking work rates, but I didn't expect them to be strikers. They, they're they so far out of position 90% of the time. It's unbelievable. Ericsson has a woeful effort that goes wide of the post. We lose the game 3-2 and we don't get an upgrade, which is a shame because I really want us change the goalkeeper out so I can give chemistry to the defence because I think that's one of the reasons why the defence aren't playing as, as well as they could be so here we go we're going to go into the next one this guy's got Ribery a fairly decent side the only thing is now of course is when I come up against people I'm not the favourite anymore I am the under. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm the favourite. I'm not the underdog anymore. There we go. English is oh, it's great in a situation like this. Where before I had like silver players and stuff, I was coming against people with uh, with with Messi and Ronaldo, etc. And I was the underdog. But now I'm expected to win because I've got a team of the, team of the year player. I've got loads of informs. We managed to go a goal up with Cesc Fabregas inside of 20 minutes. The guy seemed fairly. Uh, lackluster in defence, he didn't really know what he was doing, a, bit, a, lot, a lot like myself Aurier does really well here, manages to get the ball back, we're playing it across and there you go, just evidence that the guy didn't have a clue what he was doing in defence he's put it into his own net and it's a really good finish from the defender as well, and the guy decides that enough is enough, 28 minutes on the clock, he's conceded twice and that is a rage quit, we were dominating possession but we hadn't really used the chances, luckily the guy put that in the back of the net to make it 2-0, but no upgrade again and we come back into our, into our last game of the episode and again this guy's basically got the most basic La Liga side you could build and I'm the favourite which I don't like, I don't like the latter stages of the one and up, it's really irritating, it's nice to build great teams and we've got some really sexy players to come into the rest of the side, the goalkeeper, a striker left mid and a centre mid left to come in and they are really sexy expensive players, unfortunately I never play well when I've got a good team. Adebayor, the guy that everybody criticised, has just come up with a very important goal there. Four minutes in, we've managed to score to make it 1-0. I don't often go 1-0 um, up early on. And when I do, I tend to panic and I don't know what to do. Do I go for another goal? Do I sit on it? Do I try and play conservatively? So this is where I, I come undone. The defence are absolutely nowhere. David Luiz is literally having a chat with Carlos Tevez up top. I don't even know if Tevez... No, te no one has Tevez. But that's how far up he is. He's in, he's in Argentina. It's ridiculous. He's so far out of position all the time. It, it's, look at that. He, he steps up there and the guy hits the crossbar. Very, very close to making it 2-1. We haven't had a single shot since the goal. Adebayor's one shot on target. I don't even know if the header counts as a shot. But either way, 
Adabio's goal is the only thing we have to show for a very poor first half performance. We managed to catch him on the break in the first half, but in the second half, he absolutely destroyed me, making it 2-1 quite early on as well. There's a lot, lot of time left in this one. Fernandez to Quadrado. I tried to dink it back to Fernandez. It didn't quite work. We held it off, gave it to Fabregas. Adabio picks it up, gives it to um, Quadrado. And back in to Quadrado. Great save from Tess Durgan. I don't know how he kept that out. The ball was behind him when he tipped it over. Jacqueline down the right hand side terrible football but he gives it back to Quadrado who does mm, kind of well to get possession and again does well and then tries to slide to get his foot on the end of it I think he had time but he didn't use it the ball has come to nothing 90th minute Adebayor tries to find the run of Jacqueline Jacqueline then not the fastest player in the world but I'm looking for the overlap brilliant ball in bank goal it's 2-2 two, two. no it's offside sure I was gutted absolutely devastated and the game finishes 2-1 and that is another game we have to go without that upgrade, which means tomorrow there will not be a one and up because tomorrow's Saturday. So Sunday, I'm thinking Sunday, but at the very latest it'll be Monday. We'll go into the next and probably going to be the final episode. In fact, it will be the final episode. The next episode, I will get all of the upgrades done and I will play a couple of games with the team as a full informed side. And it'll be a game set and match. The problem I've got with this team, and I've said it before, is the two centre-backs are awful. If you've got money and you can afford Team of the Year David Luiz and you really want a Team of the Year player, don't do it. It's trust me, don't do it. It cost me uh, 750,000 coins. I think he's worth about 800k now, so I will make money back on him. Same with Naldo. I bought him for 40k. He's now worth about 60k because he is going up in price. So I'm going to make money on the entire team when I sell it, but that's not the point. The point is he's awful. David Luiz in particular is terrible. Naldo I could work with. If I put like Thiago Silva there, I think I could work with him. But David Luiz is just the biggest liability in the, in the team. He is ridiculous. He'd be good as a CD or a CM but not as a centre back it's the same as real life reading but there we go that's it for me for today I'll be back with some career mode over the weekend a Sunday league striker will come out on Sunday I promise you that right now and on Monday I'll be back with a one and up if not Sunday we'll see how it goes till then thank you very much for watching goodbye if you guys are interested in 50% off PlayStation and Xbox membership games, iTunes vouchers, PC games, whatever you want, they have it. Go to CD Keys, the link can be found in the description. Every item is digital, so it'll be sent to your email address within about five minutes of your order, so you can play it as soon as you order it. It's 100% reliable. The link is down below. Go check them out.